Yeah, so my name is Claudia and I'm from Kensington, Prince Edward Island. I would say I'm a medium level fan of Big Brother. You know, I grew up watching the show, but I did miss a couple seasons. But yeah, I definitely know the game and I'm a fan of the show. There's lots of different strategies and players from the past whose games I admire, but really going into it, I want to play my own game and I want to, you know, make my own mark in Big Brother Canada. I do have a strategy. Um, I, I don't want to reveal too much, but I am a people person. Um, I love being social. And then I may be small, but I've been training and I am so ready for these physical competitions. Um, so really, I just want to bring it all around. I've been lifting weights, you know, running, um, also mental games, working on my spelling, my math, um, everything. Being shut out from the outside world, it's definitely going to be uh, a challenge at times. I think the hardest part is just going to be not talking to my friends and family. Not having my phone, I think, is going to be refreshing. <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm excited for that part of it. I don't think I'm like scared of anything. I would say going into the house, like I don't have too many like concerns. Like I said, I'm a pretty easygoing person. It's definitely gonna be a new experience to share a house with, you know, that many strangers. But I think it's gonna be hard to, like I said, not talk to my family. I think that's gonna be the most challenging part of it. I'm a pretty open book. I wouldn't say there's any like secrets that I feel I need to hide about myself from the other house guests. Um, yeah. I'm just excited to get in there and, uh, you know, meet everyone else and get into the challenges and start the game. Yeah, my name is Anika Maisha. I am from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I don't know Big Brother that well, so I'm going with the open mind. Um, I'm excited to see what comes. I'm there to play a good game and definitely win. I know I'm getting myself into an unknown territory, but that's just me. I love a good adventure and I'm ready to win this. My strategy in this game is gonna be to win people's trust because in the house numbers speak. So if I can win people's trust, they can get me to the very end and the jury then votes for their favorite. So if they like me, there's a high chance they will vote me to win. So my strategy is to play a strong game, but also make allies who's gonna get me to the end. I know at the end of the day, it is a competition and I'm up for it, but I think I definitely am looking forward to making some friends and creating some strong allies. Being cut off from the outside world for three months is definitely scary, but for me, I think I see it more as a challenge and um, I'm looking forward to it surprisingly. Without having my phone, it's definitely going to be an issue because I have never been without my phone, not even for a day, let alone three months. So it's going to be, it, it is scary, but I think I can definitely do it. Going in, I'm very excited about meeting all the people in the house and, and seeing all the games that we'll play. I'm definitely a very competitive person, so I'm looking forward to all the games. I'm most scared of getting into fights as much as I don't want to, but knowing myself, that's definitely a possibility. For me, I am very blunt and I stand up for myself. I don't take for, from people, so there is a high chance that I might get into some fights. I'm definitely gonna be standing up for people who are in my alliance because um, that's just how I roll. I always stand up for my friends, I support them. So if I'm giving anyone my word, I'm definitely gonna stand by it. Hey everybody, my name is Amal. I am from Toronto, Ontario. I know Big Brother pretty well. I don't have a Big Brother, but the game and the show, yeah, for sure. I watched almost every single season of the American one and the Canadian one, of course. It's our hometown. We have to watch it. My strategy going to the house is just taking it day by day. Um, my plan is to just eat three square meals a day, mind my business, and try my best. And I'm pretty sure that's gonna work. I think in terms of like strategy for like alliances and things like that, um, the alliances can find me. I will accept them. I will not initiate them, um, but I will nurture them, right? If somebody wants to align with me, I will make them feel like we're aligned if that's what they need. Being shut off from the outside world is definitely a little bit weird. I think I'm gonna miss my family and my friends, but in terms of like my performance, I will excel because the less distractions, the better I can get to the bank. <laughs> I am not addicted to my cell phone. I'm so happy I don't have it and I don't have to charge it every single night. I'm not nothing. I'm not scared of anything going into the house. I don't think fear should be something I should bring with me. Honestly, the only person that I fear is God and God and Big Brother will be watching me. I'm really excited to have fun. I think that, you know, coming out of a pandemic and the world just being chaotic right now, I'm trying to have fun. So I want you folks to see me having fun and have fun because of that.
No, I don't care to make big moves, honestly, but I think it would be fun, right? Like if I'm in a position that requires me to make a big move, I will make it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it. I don't want the other house guests to know that I'm a good liar. I think that that's not a great quality, personally, just in the outside world. So I will emphasize that I'm not a good liar, but if they do find out, great for them. We should probably work together. I think what makes me a good liar is my ability to separate emotion from logic. Even though I'm a really emotional person, if I want to achieve something, we're going to take the tears out. So honestly, pray for your girl. In past seasons when folks are like, oh, she's so emotional, we got to evict her. If somebody cries, I'm keeping them. Like, why would I evict that person? Tears are normal. My name's Hope and I'm from Milton. I recently became a super fan like two months ago. I've been binging every season and I love it. I watched uh, season 10, season 9, I just started watching season 7, but I couldn't finish got to be here, you know? My strategy going into the house is honestly um, just to adapt. You know, I'm quick on my feet and going into the house, um, having many of the house guests, so um, adapt, adapt, adapt. To be honest, this is an experience. You know, life, you're who you are because of your experience and I'm just kind of like, excited to you know see who I become after this experience I like trying new things you know it just makes me who I am oh uh, one thing I'm scared of most going into house is um, to be honest I'm not to be someone I'm not and I just hope my family and all my friends don't you know see or look at me any differently after the show I want to be someone different in the house because I'm a very nice guy I'm super compassionate and I wouldn't do onto others what I would not want done onto me my moral level is definitely gonna change while I'm in the house. Um, the prize on the line is a big deal and I have big plans for the prize so I'll do whatever it takes to get to the end. After I win Big Brother season 11, um, my plan is to obviously grow my business. I'm the founder of uh, Hope Fitness. It's a basketball company that basically uses basketball as a tool to bring out the best in kids and I have a charity called Project Hope and we build basketball courts all across Africa. And after I win Big Brother season 11, I'm obviously gonna like invest all of it and to grow the business to new heights. Basketball is definitely gonna help me in the house. Um, I've learned teamwork, leadership, and again, adapting when you know when the tables turn and when things are not looking your way. So basketball is definitely gonna play a big role while I'm in the house. I just wanna to inspire to motivate you know any child out there that's gonna be watching me, any kid that's in my shoe, any African or any Anybody moving from a different country that, you know, come to Canada, there's a lot in store for you. So don't give up. Of course I want to make big moves, man. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I want to be remembered. Naturally, I stand out and I'm going to try to use the qualities I have to my advantage. My name is Dan and I'm from Niagara Falls. I'm a recent fan of Big Brother. I just started watching two seasons ago. So I'm a new fan, but I'm a fan for life. I love the show now. My strategy going into the house is to lay low for the first few weeks and let the louder people kind of attack each other and hopefully eliminate each other. And then I'll let my personality shine a little more and hopefully win some challenges and start making some big plays. I'm definitely an outgoing person. I like to you know, bring a lot of energy into a room and bring up the group morale. And that's kind of my MO just in any social setting. I don't think I'm gonna mind uh, being shut off from the outside world for three months because man, I get so many notifications and that gets overwhelming. So I'm actually a little bit excited to just shut off for a little bit and stay away from my phone. <laughs> Besides my friends and family, that's what I'm gonna miss most is music. Yeah, music's a big part of my life. So going uh, you know, two, three months without music is gonna be hard. So that's why I plan on winning uh, quite a few head of household challenges so I can get that, that iPod. <sighs> I'm scared of having trust issues going into the house. Um, I just feel like a part of this show is you can't really tell who's lying to you straight to your face, so I hope I don't uh, develop any trust issues throughout this whole thing. <laughs> I'm most excited about competing in these challenges. The challenges look so fun, and since I started watching the show, I, uh, I wanted to see how I could could do in these challenges and now I get the opportunity to do that so I'm pretty excited about that. I am a physical player and I'm not sure how much I want to show the other house guests that side of me right off the bat but I would consider myself a physical player and I'm pretty competitive so. I do want to make big moves and I think you need to make uh, big moves in order to make it far in the game. I just feel like there's a time and place and hopefully I'll know when 
the right time is to make those big moves. One thing that I don't want the house guests to know about me, at least right away, is you know how outgoing and you know maybe loud and I wouldn't say obnoxious, but you know energetic I am, and also how physical I am. I think I want to downplay those sides of me at the beginning, just so I don't stick out and maybe seem like a threat. I think it could be hard for me. I'm gonna try my best to you know downplay everything a little bit, but who knows? Maybe the real side will uh, of me will come out before I hope it does, but we'll have to see. Hi, my name is Daniel and I'm from Toronto, Ontario. I'm a super fan of the game, so I know Big Brother Canada like the back of my hands. I've seen every season, I've read the online uh, like interviews, like I've watched live feeds. I know everything about Big Brother Canada. I know the fans have a lot of opinions, um, and I think, you know, like, I'm kind of on the outskirts of the fan, like, I read everything and I see what everything they say and at the end of the day, I'm gonna do my best and I think I'll do okay, no matter what. Going into the house, I'm really gonna play up on my social game. I'm very competitive, so I'm gonna play up on the fact that I know how people will perceive me as social and I'll keep all of my sneaking and <laughs> strategizing to a minimum when dealing with them so I'm able to, you know, trick people. <laughs> I'm a very empathetic person in general in my life. I definitely feel like I can read a room. And again, like that's kind of what has gotten me through all of my career is like culture committees and everything. I have a big social circle and a very strong and supportive family and friend group. So it's gonna be tough being separated from everybody, but I think that, you know, I'm out here living my dream and I'm just gonna do whatever I can to keep, keep the dream alive. <laughs> in the house I'm gonna be really scared about just tripping over little lies that I'll be telling um, to the other house guests and making sure that I'm keeping my story straight. I definitely don't think that I'll have an issue with the studying challenges. I think I'm gonna be that person in the house who a second I walk in, not only am I gonna be studying my fellow house guests, I'm also gonna be studying every single thing in the house. I've watched it long enough to know you have to do that. I'm just most excited about the experience in general. Like I've been a fan since season one. So I'm excited for the adventure. I don't care what it is. If I'm on the block, I'm excited to flip the vote. If I'm HOH, I'm excited to make a big move. Like I'm just excited to experience have this adventure that's like such a once in a lifetime opportunity. I want to make big moves. I don't want to I don't want to be one of the super fans that come in and like, you know, we just want to make it as far as possible because we love this experience so much. Like, no, I want to go in and I want to play. Like I want to play hard, I want to play fast and I want to like make it to the end and be worthy of it and represent myself. <laughs>